this man has only just snuck on this list this year. I didn't think he would, but I have to do it. Mario Mandzukic has just scored 100 goals in 45 games. Online games. That is, quite frankly, ridiculous for a card that isn't even fast and it isn't, hasn't even got a great shot really, either by the game standards. Mario Mandzukic, I consider to him to be one of my favourite strikers uh, in the world. Um, not because of what he did to England in the World Cup. I've always rated him at his days at like Bayern Munich and Atletico. You know, he was quite um, a decent finisher. I mean, these days he doesn't really get many goals. But oh my god, on FIFA, his card is just kind of broken. Really kind of broken. The card only has 68 pace, but I'm still finding ways to go through and outpace defenders and tap it in. It might be because he's got great physical possibly and he's got a decent shot as well I can't believe that <laughs> when I put him in my squad I was only putting him in to for like a little bit of a meme sort of thing because I had a Premier League squad and I was like I'll just chuck in Mandzukic just for the just for the just for the while until I can afford Rashford but who needs Rashford right now when I have Mandzukic getting a hundred goals in 45 games that's absolutely crazy the man literally is always there and this is why I'm doing this video, because I think that if you've got a Serie A side, I think you should use him. Um, a lot of my um, friends tell me that Mandzukic is a bad card, and yeah, okay, on the face of it, it's not a good card for FIFA 20. Because FIFA 20 always, always um, wants you to play pacey football, because it is just pace, FIFA 20. It just is. But somehow, Mandzukic seems to defy those laws and just get past everybody and constantly score goals. All those games I played, those 45 games, have been online. I do not play squad battles. Squad battles are boring. I hate them so much because the computer always, always just holds the ball. So annoying, can't be dealing with it. I'd rather deal with human beings. They are less annoying than the computer, trust me. But going back to it, Mario Mandzukic deserves his own little video because he, I believe, out of my team over the years in Beast FC's um, long standing history in FIFA Ultimate Team, I'm fairly sure that he has the record for the fastest to 100. Um, I don't think Luis Hernandez hit 100 goals in 45 games. I think it probably took him about 60 to 70 games if I can go back and look at it, probably. Um, Emenike definitely didn't because he was only averaging maybe two goals a game sort of thing so because his record was like sort of 400 games and four like 400 and uh, like 17 goals or something so Mario Mandzukic at the moment is breaking records for my team do I think he will keep it up no definitely not as I as I climb up the divisions um, he will slow down and he, he'll become ineffective which is why I need um, Juventus to Play him so he can get an inform. Score a couple of goals in one game in real life, and you've got an inform, right? So come on, sorry, play him, play him, please. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to do a little video on it because um, it's an achievement and it deserves a tribute. Mario Mandzukic, one of the fastest strikers to hit a hundred goals, probably the fastest striker to hit a hundred goals on my team. And yeah, just a very, very surprisingly beast card. I hope you're enjoying this uh, little mini-series on my favourite cards on FIFA. Um, I, I do like talking about it with uh, people who are also into FIFA. I always love talking about different cards and stuff. So putting out on YouTube as well. Um, maybe people are interested, I don't know. I've been away for a few weeks as well. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded much. Um, the hardware issues and stuff like that. You know how it is. But anyway, if you did like the video, why not like and subscribe? I've got more content coming out soon. Keep it loco, and I'll see you again for the next video.